What's up YouTube? It's the Master Gamer giving you a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be continuing on with the single back wide trips mini scheme out of the New England Patriots playbook. However, just note, it is in plenty of playbooks. It's not a rare formation at all. You can find a lot of these plays in a lot of different playbooks. That being said, let's get right into it. The play that we're going to be breaking down is going to be the wide trail play. Now, the wide trail play doesn't look that special at first but it has a few different unique things that aren't in many plays in the game. As you're going to see, you have the two goal line fade routes that you can really only see consistently on the 10 yard line, which really aren't that good in Madden. However, we have something unique with those to combine that with the trail route, which is kind of a delayed post over the middle that stretches the user to really attack zone coverage and create havoc for the defense. So all you're going to want to do is put the R1 or RB receiver, as you can see right here, in a flat route and put the outside receiver on the left the square or x receiver on an in route very simple setup then at that point block the running back and you're just going to motion the receiver on the outside right next to the middle receiver right here the r1 rb receiver as you're going to see there's a nice little crease in between the zones to throw this for an easy 10 yard completion what makes this play so good is that it's a near guaranteed 10 yard completion. That's something that you don't really see in a lot of offenses and that's normally where they struggle is they miss this throw. They miss the easy 10 yard completion that's very easy to get your first downs on, move the chains. They go for those big 30 yard money plays which are great and all and you gotta have some kind of good downfield passing but if you don't have the easy quick 10 yard plays to attack the blitz you're not going to have too much success in the long run. You need to have these underneath plays that really crush zone coverage as long as you're going to want to make a living run in this offense. So now we're going to play cover three hard flats. We've been seeing a lot of hover, cover three hard flats in the meta. So that's what kind of what we're trying to beat right now. The primary thing is make sure you can beat that. Moving forward, maybe something changes. But right now that's what it is. And you're going to see, again, this is like a free 10 yards. Now, obviously, I wouldn't tell you to run a play if it couldn't beat more coverages than just one. So as you're going to see right here, this is going to be cover three cloud flat. And it does a relatively similar thing. You're just going to want to lowball it instead. So I lowball pass lead inside. You don't have to pass lead inside. It's not the most important thing in this play. But you can't really get rack when it's a cloud flat. So you really just want to make sure you secure the catch. That's my big thing, at least. You see, okay, you can't really get over them. So you just want to make sure you get those free 10 yards. And again, look how fast that is. You're not really going to get sacked in that time. It's just a very good overall route combo. Again, one I highly recommend using. Now against cover two, we're going to use a cover two shell here because you don't often see a cover two with all the zones. Stock cover two is kind of bad just because it's so easy to kind of just dot all the way up and down the field. So right here, you're going to see a cover two shell. And I mean, it's just wide open. Again, 10 yards, a free 10 yard play that crushes zone coverage is awesome. Again, I can't stress that enough how important that is to add to an offense. Now, obviously, if we see man coverage, there's options too. That route, it's gonna struggle against man. I'm not gonna tell you it won't. There's no real glitch there to make it open. It looks open, don't get me wrong, don't throw it. As you're gonna see, looks like, yo, he's got a step. He doesn't, don't throw that because there's no way in Madden to throw that pass accurately. If there was, maybe you'd have something, but unfortunately there's not really a way. So just don't throw it. I know it looks tempting, don't do it. The route that's going to crush man coverage, absolutely destroy it is going to be that tight end route. I mean, just, I don't even need to say it. Like, look at this, look at this, crushed. Absolutely destroyed. Can't really do much there on defense. You just have to accept that you're going to the next play. And then obviously you're the backside in, that's gonna be decent against man coverage. It's not gonna be perfect, but it will be decent. If you feel like they're calling a lot of man coverage, you could put him on a slant, you could put him on a drag. I like the in the most for spacing. That being said, it is entirely possible to put him on a drag and you'll be just fine. And as you're gonna see, obviously drags crush man. Anybody set there. That's really the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to note is the playing man start to switch that a little bit more to a drag. This play works better on the right hash, but you can definitely call it on the left hash. And I mean, look at this. It's, there's no real coverage that's going to stop this in zone. It's 
very good. And I highly recommend it, adding it into your offense for a nice, simple 10-yard pass. Fourth and 10 in your Super Bowl. This is the play you want to go to. Very consistent, very reliable, and easy 10 yards. I mean, like, it's very easy. Again, just motion them right there. At the ball, throw it. It doesn't take long. You're not going to get blitz. If you get blitz, you have plenty of hot reads to go to. And that's really all there is to it. Again, very good. Can't stress it enough, even though I keep, keep saying it. Not to mention, you have the end underneath. You have the post over top. There's really so much reliability in one play that, I, I mean, it's just so good. And I didn't even motion there, but it's all right, because we have the in wrap. The post pulls up both of the hook zones. And I didn't even mention that sooner, and I probably should have. But it pulls up both of the hook zones, making that route even easier to throw. It's just, man, this play is so good for so many reasons. And it's so simple. It's it's one of those things that you don't have to think too hard about. It's going to beat everything. Just, just call it the play. Oh, they shaded down, so you're going to get like more coverage on the end. Okay, fine. You're going to have the post over top. It really is an awesome play and I, again can't stress it enough how much you need to add this into your offense right now you've already broken down plays like the PA boot right you've broken down the plays of wide receiver post you're about to break down the plays later this week on the run scheme from this offense and we're going to be using some of these motions as you can see, this motion brings somebody closer into the box. There's things you could do with that. I didn't set up the play at all that time, but uh, that's why there's nobody open. We almost threw a laser. Wasn't open though. So, oh, don't pick six this. Don't pick six this. Oh, we got their league MVP. Patrick Mahomes uses the force to get him to come over. It's incredible tackling. They don't teach that. They don't teach that. Using the force to make the tackle, that's, I mean, that's why Patrick Mahomes is the MVP. Before anything else, it's the force then arm talent, then, you know, he just throws absolute missiles, as we're going to see right here, throwing nothing but absolute laser beams, and the play's incredible. You see, he got hit stick, held him to the ball. That's because the play's incredible, almost exclusively. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. It's been the Master Gamer, and I'm out.